by your father. This land, that 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 is the end of the Jews by that that was not broken by Hadrada and will not be humbled by this cutthroat William the Bastard. Prepares to spur his followers up the hill. Here he comes with sword pointed. One man against an army, the stuff of heroic sagas. Who will win, Saxon or Norman? Cheer now! Talifer, the Saxon Huskar champion! Which of the two will win? A deadly fight. Talifer looks to be getting the better of it. He's hammering his opponent. Is this a sign of the battle to come? But wait, the Saxon is not alone. What is this? Is it treachery? Talifer is pulled from his horse! Soldiers, <laughs> <laughs> we have forced her We destroyed her for 20 villages. As we have dead slaves, kissed and have slaughtered his people by the You could not allow the subject to endure such terror. Harold has galloped south of Pittsburgh, leaving a large part of his army to follow on foot. <laughs> the archers are softening up the target, forcing, forcing the Saxon shield wall to lift their shields to protect their faces. Behind the archers come the first implacable Norman infantry. Mighty blocks mirroring the Saxon shield wall, a left wing, a right wing, and a centre. The traditional Saxon chant, oot, 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 aiming to drive the invader out, out, out. The Norman line looks fierce, heavily armoured, helmets, shields, armour. Surely nothing can stand against them. They get closer and closer still. Battle is about to begin. They're almost upon each other. Here we go. And the flank is engaged. Both flanks are engaged. And now the whole line is fully engaged. Will the first normal attack succeed? <laughs> the battle rages here at the top of the field. Sword. <laughs> He's like, the Saxons are holding. This does look good. The Normans are fighting hard. Hard. <laughs> Cheer now for your chosen side. Put heart into the Warriors. Give it up for Saxon England. Give it up for the Gentlemen, 
once again the Saxon Shield Wall has held. They come up the ridge. Moving up the pot. They break into the canter. Here they come. What a battering round. Nothing can stand against this. Normandy! Give it up for Normandy! The horsemen are doing their best. Really They're lancing their foes. They're almost through. Oh, not quite. The shield wall closed. Right. We can do this again. The discipline of the Norman cavalry is such that they can feel retreat, reform, and cover their target a second time. But the shield wall now has yeah, like the cavalry. They've not faced a foe like this really before, like the but they remain undefeated. In the right flank, all three battles of the Norman army have thrown into the second. If it is to be a war of attrition, then so be it. Oh, right. yeah, yeah. More of the Normans wear armour. Maybe they can withstand the casualties better than the Saxons. The Bretons on the far side are going to be the first Roman soldiers who have hit the Saxon shield wall. A second mighty assault wave. Here they come. And the Bretons are in. In the centre, the personal troops of the Conqueror. Here comes the heavily armoured Norman infantry. The pride of the Duchy of Normandy. They're seconds away from engagement. Oh, is he? Oh, yeah, there he is. And now they're in! <laughs> you can see it, sort of like and hard on their heels! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be the Fleming, place. some planters of the French contingent on the right-hand side. They are almost there as well. And general battle is engaged all the way up and down the Saxon shield wall. Oh, I would be trying to do it, <laughs> a second throw of the dice. This time, will the shield wall break? Thank you, Will the English pursue? Disaster. It looks like one entire flank of the Norman army has collapsed. They're fleeing from the field. The Duke is throwing in his horsemen to try and stem the tide. To fight off the Englishmen that have left the shield wall and are galloping down the hill. Yeah. The horsemen flood in to hold off. Defeat and disaster. A band of foolhardy Englishmen from the right flank are surrounded and are going to be cut off. But the Duke is exposing himself to danger. Although he is a notable warrior. Oh, Luna, I'm sorry. <laughs> Force the rest of the Norman army to disengage. The fighting is still fierce. What's that? A riderless horse. An empty saddle. The Duke is down. The Duke is down. Is William of Normandy dead? In trying to stem the rout on his flank as he laid down his life. This could be disaster for the Norman army. Once again, the shield wall has held. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Saxon England. It has held. 
the Duke is down, if the Duke is slain, this means victory for Harold and Saxon England! Here comes the Duke leading his men against the English left. Fools, hold, hold! By all that is holy, stop them! As against us, the battle, even the kingdom itself. Watch this, the Normans are retreating. The English chase them down the hill. No! It's a Norman trick! The Englishmen that are off running down the hill in pursuit of the fleet Normans are now surrounded. William kept half his cavalry in reserve. They are now surrounded. Englishmen at the bottom of the hill with no hope of reinforcements. They are cut down like wheat before the sun. Ladies and gentlemen, that was William's intention. That was William's hope, and he was successful. A tactical victory for Normandy! Harold Lamentis. Do you know what I mean? He was... Hello! He's hit! I saw him stagger! My lord, Goodwin son! By the grace of God, Harold has been hit! I'm sure it was not By the blood of Christ, my archers have heard their pay today. If King Harold was indeed struck, then the arrow was truly guided by God, your grace, and we must give thanks to him. Yes, yes, yes there would be kind enough for that one to do it. Now, I saw him struck in the head, but his armor may have protected him. If he is merely wounded, we must make sure, and quickly, before nightfall yeah. is upon us. So I wouldn't know how to get to my little town like Bayo. Eustace, take Pontio and Givar. Spare your horses up the hill and finish that dog howl. And you come for the man who brings me his head. Single the others. For every man we have into yeah. the assault, we'll finish this now! Yeah. So, William has seen Harold fall, whether merely a flesh wound, he is not sure. He moves his archers and he sends his knights forward to finish the job in hand. The Huskars with their mighty Dane axes surround the king, but the swords come crashing down. The knights surround the king. The king appears to be down. It appears the Huskars are protecting the dead body of the king. This is disaster for Saxon England. The banner still stands, but for how much longer? The banner's been captured. A horseman has it. Ladies and gentlemen, victory for Normandy!
Duke, you have his support. No. <laughs> the banner that is said to have been blessed by the very hand of the Pope <laughs> in Rome to give the church's blessing on this endeavour of England. The Normans, on foot or on horseback, will wear helmets, conical helmets with a nasal guard to protect the bridge of the nose. Their bodies will be encased in hauberks of mail what we sometimes call chain mail in a modern context, but mail to these warriors. Boots made up of many thousands of rings of metal, all individually riveted together. And of course, the classic kite-shaped shield. We often associate this purely with the Normans, although we again see on the Bayer tapestry that many Saxons carried it too. It was the state of the military art. And as they come past you, you can see how good it is at covering your entire body from toe to shoulder, even protecting some of the horse's flanks as well. But for our riders, of course, that big heavy wooden shield hangs upon the bridle arm, with which you use to control or help control the horse. Trot. They've got to keep the line. Discipline is everything. They move into the canter. And down come the lances. Give them a cheer. Will they stop? Yes, thankfully. Again, discipline is everything as they wheel around. And the audience on the west side of the battlefield got a taste. But you'll notice that actually we only had maybe 150 metres to build up power and speed. To really get fast, to really deliver shock effect, you need a good long run-up. And one feature of the battlefield is, of course, the long slope. We know that the Normans began at the bottom, the Saxons were holding the ridge, the crown of the ridge. You see their eyes beneath the steel rims of their helmets, and above the mail covering their chins and their mouths and their noses. They are ready. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Well, you'll be a braver person than I if you stand. Once the Duke is happy, he will set off. At the walk. Steady, steady, steady. The ground is uneven. You don't charge across a bowling field or bowling green. A battlefield will have obstacles and you need to be wary of them. A small ridge to climb. And then we pick up the pace. Moving to the trot. Moving to the canter. Here they come. Here they come. Here they come. Give them a cheer again. Victory is imminent. Oh, they wheel as two Conroys in fine disciplined fashion. I think a round of applause for the horsemanship. Floyd with the shield, generally speaking. And knife fights tend to be over pretty quickly. One quick lunge and it could all be over. These are big knives after all. Single bladed for the most part. <laughs> a wickedly sharp point. As I say, useful on the hunting field. Normally you're hunting animals, but in this case, of course, you're hunting human beings. Spears can be used one handed with a shield, Sorry? they can be used two handed without right, a shield. Time. Our warriors will now lay on and demonstrate how it is done. 
So lots of techniques, underarm thrusts, overarm thrusts, overarm particularly effective in trying to defeat an opponent with a shield, coming at the head or the face over the top of the shield. The shield itself can sometimes be used as a weapon to bash an opponent, to knock them off balance. The rim can be brought crashing down onto the foot or toes of an opponent. The rim can be bashed into somebody's face. The central metal boss at the middle of each shield, that's where your hand is. So that gives you better protection. And again, you can punch with that boss as well. So the shield is not just for protection. <laughs> Armour will help defeat some weapons, but a two-handed thrust from a spear could well burst even the iron rings that are riveted together to make these male hauberks that some of our professional warriors are wearing. <laughs> These spears are probably not designed for throwing. This is the lighted javelins that will be thrown through the air. A spear like this, a hunting spear, very much kept in the hands. Big, broad blades on one end that do the business, sometimes shod in iron on the other end to stop the butt splintering. And again, not dissimilar from the only slightly longer lances that the cavalrymen were using on horseback. What about your brother? The sword is a basic type. 500 years later, and we've got dozens of different kinds of short swords, long swords, sabres, rapiers, and everything else. Here, the common broadsword is just that a broad bladed sword. Differences in decoration, and you might be able to tell Viking from Saxon from Norman influences, but often these kind of weapons being expensive are handed down from father to son through the generations. They are looked after carefully and they are employed professionally. This is a mark of status as well as a weapon. And now you get the proper ring of steel upon steel as the sword play goes on. And again, very much the shields to the fore, gazing over the top of them, waiting for your opponent to give something away with the movement of the body, a twitch of the eyes. Anticipation is everything. Can you get in under your enemy's guard, over the top of his shield, round the back? It would bring them here today to use them for business. This hill falls, then London will fall. If London falls, the kingdom will fall. So this small band, perhaps 12,000 warriors, are all that stand between the kingdom.